So this level drastically reminds me of a streaming platform between before there was Twitch, before there was YouTube called Ustream, uh, just by the title alone, and I feel like I'm dating myself there. Now, one thing you might want to note is if you go into a boulder level or a level where that's uh, a little bit more unique, such as a Warthog Chase, which I'm going to get into a little bit later, Aku Aku is not going to retain his form or even stay with you, so you'll have to reobtain Aku Aku. You can go back to the first level if it's giving you trouble at any time, because those are probably the easiest handouts for Aku Aku traits. This one, however, gives you one at the very beginning, like you saw, as long as you go down. But of course, you're going to need to go and get all the crates in the game. However, you cannot get a gem in this level yet. That should be kind of a reoccurring thing you'll notice in the first war um, not warp room. That's later in the series. Uh, in is a uh, I can't even think. Um, in the first island. So let me explain this right here because it's a good example point. If it's purple, it's going to automatically uh, try to clamp down and kill you. If it's red, you can jump on it safely and then jump right off of it over to another platform. Um, so it doesn't react until you're inside of it if it's red. If it's purple, it's on a timer. You might want to keep that in mind during relic runs um, as that can be a matter of whether or not you get all of your uh, get a good time or not. Ooh, that looked like good. That looked really good to get hit by 25 boxes there. <laughs> 